All systems are go for launch at this time. Fuel cell systems now transferring to internal power. Standing by now, the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood is underway. The ground lock sequencer will confirm when it is fully retracted. Liquid oxygen tank now at flight pressure. Pressurizing the liquid hydrogen tank to minus one minute forty five seconds. Down and we'll see you later. Thanks a lot. Commander reporting visors are down. Heaters on the joints of the solid rocket boosters have been turned off. T minus forty seconds. The flight data recorders are on. Coming up on a go from the ground launch sequencer. T minus 31, we have a go. And off has now occurred from the ground launch sequencer to the space shuttle. The Columbia's computer is now controlling. Booster hydraulic power units have started. T minus 16 seconds, sound suppression water system is armed. 12, 11, 10. Go for main engine start. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 good engines, 3 good engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia and Astro One for an insight into the lifestyle of the galaxy. Roll for roll for them. Roger, roll, Columbia. This is Mission Control Houston now controlling as Columbia ascends through 1,400 feet. Good roll confirms here on the ground. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, and three good fuel cells. Columbia now at uh, 6,100 feet. Three main engines are now throttling down to ease Columbia's passage through the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Now at 18,000 feet, three main engines now throttling back up, and we show them now at 104%. Columbia, go and throttle up. Go throttle up. Go throttle up, and now uh, Columbia at 67,000 feet, downrange 8 nautical miles, relative velocity 2,500 feet per second. Now passing through 100,000 feet. Downrange 16 nautical miles now, relative velocity 3,600 feet per second. Standing by for SRB SEP call. And good uh, SRB separation confirmed here in the control center.